Hello friends, this video on capacitors and capacitance part 18 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Please make sure that you have watched all the videos till part 17 before going ahead with part 18. So let us look at another problem. Find the value of C such that the equivalent capacitance between P and Q is 2 microfarads. There is a printing mistake here. This point is P and this point is Q. So it says that the equivalent capacitance between P and Q is 2 microfarads. So C equivalent in this circuit is 2 microfarads. You have to calculate the value of C. One more thing is missing here that is this value is 8. So they are all in microfarads, the values which are given here. So the first thing that we will do is we will draw this circuit as per our convenience. Always remember that is the best thing to do always whenever you have to find a find equivalent capacitance of a complicated circuit. So let us start with point P. So here starts P. So from P we have one capacitor C. So from this capacitor it goes to two capacitors. One is 1 and the other one is 8. Right. So let it go to two capacitors. This is capacitor 1 and this is capacitor 8 right now if you look at capacitor 1 where does it go after this capacitor this is capacitor 1 this is c and this is 8 capacitor 1 goes to 6 and 4 so capacitor 1 again goes to 6 and 4 let us say this is 6 And this is 4. Then what happens? It goes to 6, it goes to 4. From 6 there is another capacitor that is 12. So it goes to 12. And then 12 and 4 means. Right? If you see 12 and 4 means. So here also let 12 and 4 meet. So here also they meet. Okay? Now what happens to this 8? So from 8 you have 2 capacitors, 2 and 2. So from here you have 2 capacitors, 2 and 2. I mean it branches out to 2 capacitors. So from one point both the capacitors jump in. And then again they both meet at the same point. So let them meet at the same point. Then what happened? So they both met at this point. And which is this point where 4 and 12 meet? That is this point. So these two points then met at point Q. So then this point and this point will meet at point Q. So this is your circuit in simpler form. Now you tell me which is simpler? The first circuit or the second circuit which you draw? The second circuit which you drew makes it very clearer which is in series and which is in parallel. If you see here 6 and 12 are in series. Right? So let us start calculating it in figure itself. So 6 and 12 are in series. So what will be their capa uh, equivalent capacitance? So let us write down what all are in what combination. So 6 and 12 are in series. So let us call its capacitance as C1. Their equivalent capacitance. Okay. So what would be C1? C1 would be nothing but 1 by C1 is equal to 1 by 6 plus 1 by 12. So that is equal to 3 by 12. Therefore, C1 comes out to be 4 microfarads. So this is the value of C1. Right? So 6 and 12 can be replaced by C1. C1 is equal to 4 microfarads. Right? Now this C1 is in parallel with 4 so the next step is, this was our first step. So the next step is C1 and 4. They are in parallel combination. Let us call their equivalent capacitance as C2. So C2 will be equal to C1 plus 4. C1 is already 4. So 4 plus 4 that is 8 microfarads. So this C2 that means the total combination of these three C, 12 and 4 
the entire capacitance is C2 that is 8 microfarad. So now if I draw the circuit it becomes something like this. This was 1 and after 1 instead of these 3 you have C2 and then you have Q. So this, this is C, this is 1 and from here you have 8 and after 8 you have 2 and 2 in parallel. So 2 and 2 in parallel their equivalent resistance would be 4 and then it again goes back to Q. So this is a very simple circuit now. You have 1 and C2 in series, 8 and 4 in series. So now in step 3 what do we do? 1 and C2 in series, right? And 8 and 4 are also in series. So let us calculate their equivalent capacitance. So their equivalent capacitance let us call it as C3. So this C3 will be equal to 1 by C3 is equal to 1 by 1 plus 1 by C2. What is the value of C2? C2 is 8 microfarads. So 1 plus 1 by 8. So 1 plus 1 by 8 would be equal to 9 by 8 or we can say that C3 is equal to 8 by 9 microfarads. So this is the value of C3. Now let us calculate this C4 that is 8 and 4 in series. So 1 by C4 will be equal to 1 by 8 plus 1 by 4. So this will be equal to 1 plus 2 divided by 8 or C4 will be equal to 8 by 3. Right? So this is C4. Now how will your diagram look like? Now it would look like something like this. Starting from P, this is C. Now this 1 and C2, they are in series. So their equivalent was C3. So I replace them with C3. Similarly, instead of 8 and 4, I replace them with C4. And then they go and join at point Q. Right? So now what would be the equivalent capacitance of this circuit? C3 and C4 are in parallel. Right? So the equivalent combination of C3 and C4, let us call it Cp. So Cp will be C3 plus C4. So this is your number 4. So Cp will be C3 plus C4. So C3 is 8 by 9 and C4 is 8 by 3. So 8 by 9 plus 8 by 3 will give you 32 by 9. And then the final one, so the last circuit is C and 32 by 9. C and Cp are in series. So that will give you the equivalent capacitance. So since there is no space, I am doing it here. So the equivalent capacitance of the circuit will be 1 by C equivalent is equal to 1 by C plus 1 by Cp. So therefore 1 by C equivalent, C equivalent is given as 2 microfarads in the question. So this is equal to 1 by C plus 1 by Cp. 1 by Cp would be 9 by 32. Therefore, we calculate this and we get the value of C as 32 by 7 microfarads. So this is the value of so I hope you understood how do we calculate. It is very simple even though the circuit looks very big with 10-20 capacitors. You always draw the circuit according to your convenience because your diagram is the main thing here. First thing you have to look is the points between which you have to calculate the equivalent capacitance. First you plot those two points. Then start drawing the capacitors looking at the figure. So I hope solving so many problems on equivalent capacitance, it would have made your concepts clear on series and parallel combination of capacitors. So now let us, so now, thank you. Please visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors and much more. Thank you once again.